Welcome to the Transformation Debrief. I'm Chris Hood, a digital strategist at Google Cloud and your host. In each episode, we aim to stir visionary thinking and share unexpected insights on transformation initiatives and lessons learned along the way. Today, my co-host for this episode, Janet Kennedy, Vice President, North America at Google Cloud, joins me along with our guest, Thomas Bianculli, Chief Technology Officer at Zebra Technologies. Let's get to know our guest a little better. Janet, would you please share a little bit about yourself? I'm Janet Kennedy. I'm the Vice President for Google Cloud for the North American regions. Uh, I've been in tech my entire career. Uh, the last 15 years or so, I've been helping customers digitally transform moving into the cloud. Glad to be here. Tom, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Please share a little bit about yourself and your role at Zebra. Hi, Chris. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tom B. and Cooley, Chief Technology Officer here at Zebra Technologies. Zebra Technologies is a 50-year-old company with a legacy in barcode printing and scanning devices. They support manufacturing, retail, healthcare, transportation, logistics, and public sectors with over 10,000 partners across 100 countries. Over the last few years, they have acquired companies in mobile computing, real-time location systems, robotics, AI, all to help them transform from a traditional hardware-centric company to a software solutions organization. Transformation change is hard work and it takes time. Tom, could you tell us a little bit about some of the initiatives so far and what has worked well and what hasn't? Yeah, sure, Chris. So um, as you stated, uh, you know, we've been in business for 50 years. Any company that's been around for that many decades is always transforming. We at Zebra, we're always looking at this intersection between um, what's possible and what's valuable and trying to close that gap all the time. And I think that's really what transformation is all about. It's, it's about how do you change what you do to deliver the value that your customers rely on you for um, by, by really innovating around the, the art of possible. And um, that transformation for us was really moving from a device, a tools-oriented company. So think mobile computers and printers and scanning that's used throughout the supply chain to track packages or to administer uh, a medication bedside uh, by a nurse to a patient or to upsell or cross-sell inside of a retailer and go from that kind of product mentality and mindset to one that's outcome-driven. You know, Janet, one of these aha moments that we see all the time at Google really inspires us to help companies like Zebra. I'm sure you've got several stories of your own. Any aha moments coming to mind for you? Yeah, absolutely. As I said, I've spent you know probably the last 15 years in cloud helping people go through the digital transformation. And in the beginning, it was really lift and shift, maybe move a few servers into infrastructure. But my big aha moment, frankly, was in December 2020. We'd already gone nine months of COVID. We've all worked at home. 350 million of our kids were being educated on the cloud through Google Classroom. And what I saw suddenly was CEOs CFOs and CISOs, the, the top security uh, leaders in organizations, they were like, oh my gosh, we are all working on the cloud. The whole world is working in the cloud. It's working very successfully. So why the heck do I have all these uh, legacy data centers and legacy costs that I have to incur? Tom, let's talk a little bit about the vision. So you've been moving slowly, fastly, quickly. You've been moving from a hardware business to a software business. And I'm curious to hear a little bit more about that journey around the enterprise asset intelligence at the edge, or just in general, the, the vision you have for the organization. Sure. Yeah. So you, you hit on it there, Chris. Uh, enterprise asset intelligence is what we call our vision. And that's when every asset and worker is connected, visible, and fully optimized. And, um, you know, I, I think Janet hit the nail on the head talking about the move from, you know, lift and shift to really modernizing the underlying the infrastructure. So not just about getting on the cloud, but getting all the benefits that the cloud can provide. And so more and more, frankly, of our mutual customers uh, between uh, Google and Zebra are looking at streaming data. So literally taking the data that may be coming off of a handheld or a point of sale unit or a telemetry device that's in a vehicle and sending that kind of directly uh, up to the cloud in real time. And so as an example, a nurse in, in a hospital environment is spending upwards of 50% of their time doing things other than caring for patients. 
uh, things like documenting or transferring files from one shift to the next. If we can use all the data off of the device that that nurse is using, the IoT infrastructure that's in the room, location information that connects patient wristbands uh, that identifies the patient with the medication, and we can ensure the right patient's getting the right medication the right way at the right time by the right caregiver, and we just document that all automatically, we return the time to that worker to really do what they, they went to school for and what they're passionate about. Um, and at the same time, we can make a significant dent on the third uh, highest cause of death in the country, which is actually uh, medication administration errors. Um, mm -hmm. And, and by, by being able to do all of this automatically and collect that information, we can ensure those errors don't occur and we can you know, enable those frontline workers to be their best selves. I mean, it's, it's really exciting. The notion of moving from a term everybody knows, systems of record, um, these are you know, legacy ERP, CRM type systems, you know, a WMS system, they're kind of looking in, in, a, in a rear view way, right? They're telling you what should be happening um, or maybe what happened in the past. And by the very definition of the name, record indicates it's, it's kind of a historical view. And as Janet touched upon, so many of our customers are saying, what got me here isn't going to get me there, right? I'm not going to innovate around a system of record. I don't want to know what should be happening or what happened in the past. I want to know what's happening now and what to do in the future. So I want to get really descriptive about what's happening and then predictive and prescriptive about what to drive in the workflow. Tom, so I think you mentioned that transformation really doesn't have an ending point. But I was in your offices probably four years ago, and I know you started your transformation journey probably before that, 2014, 2015. And I'm looking at what's the future? What's your next step of your transformation journey? And do you think you have any roadblocks in the way? Yeah. Yeah. Great question. I think, you know, what you started off with is, is certainly true is that transformation never really stops. You know, if I think about the early days and first year or so of that transformation, it was really around an awareness. Um, do, is there really even a change that's needed? Is, um, is transformation even the right word that, um, you know, getting people aligned to that level of, of um, agreement and, and, and kind of moving it forward? I think, you know, obviously we're way past that. We're seeing the, the fruits of the, the, the early days of that transformation. But I think ultimately when, you're, when you look at um, where we want to take things, um, it, it, it's got to be about, uh, once again, helping that frontline worker be the, be the best person they can be. Um, and, and offloading all of the distractions. And there's a lot of work to do to get to that, to get to that level. And I think we're in the early innings, really, of just being able to digitize the workflows, be able to collect the data, um, use that data maybe to point to where there are opportunities and mobilize those as actions, you know, down to those frontline workers. Another area that we're struggling with right now is uh, supply chains. How have you and Zebra looked at uh, or have helped in the supply chain world? Yeah, so a couple of things. Uh, maybe just very quickly come at it from two perspectives. One is, um, first off, transportation logistics overall is our second largest vertical behind retail. And classically, we've been helping with track and trace through that supply chain. And by monitoring that, uh, we can create those better outcomes of reducing waste, uh, for example, in, in a food scenario or ensuring the efficacy of a medication in the case of the vaccine. So that's that's what we have today. Where we're going is kind of the cloud enabled version of that. So just use your imagination. Um, what if that tag that's on the package um, of, of produce or biopharmaceutical was not just discreetly readable at the point of delivery as to whether it's in temperature profile or out, but what if it was streaming that temperature data back live to the cloud? Mm -hmm. And what if at the same time we were streaming back the location of that asset um, so we knew its condition and its identification, its location, and we knew all of that in real time. So that's really where we want to take things, and we think we've got a great start with what we're already delivering, plus the cloud transformation we're on to go realize that future. What business problems keep you up at night? You know, so one of the one business areas or challenges that we talk about is, are we moving fast enough? We're always asking ourselves that question, and, um, you know, if, there, if, if what's happening outside our company is moving faster than what's happening inside, then we're falling behind. So move fast would be my number one. Thank you, Tom, for joining us. And thank you, Janet, for your insights and participation as well. If you'd like to learn more about Zebra Technologies, we have two channels for you to explore. At cloud.google.com slash transform, we dive deeper into this transformation journey. And you can tune into that digital show.
to hear the extended podcast version of this conversation. And don't forget to hit subscribe and join us again for more visionary thinking and lessons learned on the next episode of The Transformation Debrief.